Hello, my friends, my family, and my followers. It's High360 here. And I'm here to give you a new beach this week. I am in Malibu. Malibu, California. And I'm hanging out at Zuma Beach. Zuma Beach is, to my understanding, the only free beach in Malibu. I stopped at Paradise Cove before here and it was $45 uh, to, to park there. Might have even been $65 for uh, non-residents. So I said no to Paradise Cove, came over to Zuma, Whoa. <laughs> and uh, this is a free beach with ample amounts of parking and, uh, you know, porta potties. I think there's actual restrooms too. Feels good to uh, be back on the coastline, back with the Pacific Ocean. Uh, I've been in the desert for the last few weeks and even before that uh, if we're including the Arizona adventures. So, it's nice to be back uh, with the water. Uh, you get that, you know, saline smell in the air. Uh, just sort of this, I don't know, it, it, it smells like life. Uh, we're in the desert, it's not so, uh, it's not so life-giving very sunny in the desert <laughs> but uh no i'm just i'm happy to be back drove through los angeles uh stopped at uh santa monica i'm out here because i have a tattoo scheduled on uh tuesday uh, so two days from now and um so i'm just sort of hanging out and seeing what uh what i can see what i what parts of la and the surrounding areas that i haven't been to yet I've been trying to get to Malibu for like quite some time because I've gone back and forth to Santa Barbara a few times, uh, but I always seem to miss the, uh, I think it's Highway 1, uh, which runs along, along the coast. And uh, so I just, I kept going through like Thousand Oaks and Ventura, uh, but I don't know, I think it's faster. I think the freeway goes through there, uh, just higher speeds. But uh, come, since I was in Santa Monica, I was already kind of on that highway, so I just popped up here. Santa Monica would have been cool. Uh, I'd like to, to get over there and do that boardwalk. It's huge. There's roller coasters on the boardwalk. Uh, but parking was a little bit... Well, I came a little bit late, so I got to one beachside parking lot and they said they were closing in an hour and it was pretty far from the actual pier. So I'll, I'll have another chance tomorrow or the next day um, you know, before or after the tattoo. Uh, I guess I'll share with you what I'm doing this coming week. I've been working really hard door dashing around Palm Springs, uh, getting my money up to prepare for this week because this week, starting on Tuesday, I've got the uh, the ceremonial stick and poke tattoo with Ulama. Uh, I've got some dread work I'm getting done. I haven't seen a loctician for my for my hair uh, since I got my hair locked up in the first place. Um, it's about ten months ago. I'm supposed to go every six to eight weeks, um, and so my hair is pretty grown out, and there's a lot of loose hairs, and I need some help. So I found somebody who's willing to help me. So that's on. Wednesday, Thursday, I see my friend Luis, and that'll be nice. Uh, I met him in Costa Mesa back in December. And then Friday, I've got a really, I'm really excited for Friday. There's a drum and bass show at the Exchange LA. Uh, my friend Chris, who a couple weeks ago I was in Arizona with, um, he's gonna, he's gonna be there. And I think my friend Mateo is gonna be there. Uh, so we're seeing Dimension, we're seeing Sub uh, Focus, we're seeing Culture Shock. 
it's going to be a lot of fun. I love drum and bass. And then Saturday, Chris and I are going to head down to Tijuana, spend a night in Tijuana, get some good food. Uh, Chris is fluent in Spanish, so I've been wanting to go to Tijuana for a few months now, uh, but didn't feel comfortable not knowing Spanish. But since Chris is going to be around, I told him, hey, let's go down. He was about it, so we're going. Uh, so Tijuana Saturday, and then Sunday, we're going to spend the day at Rosarita Beach, which is a popular spring break you know, Mexico uh, beach. Uh, so yeah, uh, we'll, we'll go to Rosarita Beach and hang out with the spring breakers and the locals and, you know, live it up. So I completed my mission. I, I came out here to spend the winter in Southern California to to do Arizona, to do New Mexico, to do Nevada. And I did them all. I hiked in each one, uh, several hikes in each one. And so, yeah, I, I've been on this mission for over a year now, living out of my car and just jumping around state to state. I'm still alive. I'm still doing it. I'm still having fun, still discovering new places. So, I guess this video has kind of gone beyond just showing you Malibu and just telling you that I can see the finish line to my travels, uh, which will be Hawaii in December. Uh, I've got a marathon I'm running. So that's the finish line. That's that's the end of the goal. Two years I've been on this, on this mission and uh, so it's, it's cool to just know where the, the finish line lies and to kind of have an expectation for how the rest of this year is going to go. And, and today I get to hang out, tonight I get to hang out in Malibu. So it's a good life. It's a good life. I love the ocean. We're over here at the Pacific Ocean and I'm talking about how I'm going to be in the, uh, at the Atlantic Ocean this summer. Pretty cool stuff. Highly recommend to anybody who's young and adventurous, uh, who feels called to travel, just do it, man. You're gonna figure it out as you go. You're gonna, you're gonna have a blast. Uh, you can always reach out to me on the YouTube channel, my Instagram, ask for tips. But uh, this this traveling that I've been doing has been completely life changing, completely eye opening. I've learned so much about myself and, and this country and. I just, like I said, I, I recommend it so much. Uh, there's, this is the kind of learning, this, um, you know, hands-on, experiencing things firsthand. That's the kind of learning that, that I that I do best with. So, yeah, I guess I had a lot to say just now, but that's about it. I'm gonna enjoy the beach now. So. Thanks for listening. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram. You already know the drill. Peace.